morning. It is December 11th, 2021. Welcome to CBS Saturday Morning. Breaking news overnight. Line of destruction. A near historic stretch of severe tornadoes cuts through multiple states, leaving hundreds of miles of devastation. We'll have the latest on the death toll, the damage left behind, and the forecast ahead. Consumer crush. Prices soar at the fastest rate in nearly 40 years. What's behind it and how long it's expected to last. Going for a record, Blue Origin prepares for another trip in what has been a remarkable year for space travel. We'll tell you why this morning's launch will mark a significant achievement in human history. And the loss of a pop legend. Michael Nesmith, singer, songwriter, and guitarist for the band The Monkees, passes away. Anthony Mason will look back on his life and career. But first, we begin this morning with a look at today's eye-opener. Your world in 90 seconds. Buildings leveled, homes leveled, rubble everywhere. It's very sad. Overnight nocturnal tornadoes across the Tennessee River Valley. This is going to be a quad state event. It is a significant, massive disaster event. A historic storm hitting Kentucky. The governor fears the death toll could reach up to 100 people. This is going to be some of the worst tornado damage that we've seen in a long time. New data came out showing inflation at its highest in almost 40 years. For most working Americans, with inflation this high, if you're not getting a raise of almost 7% this year, you're losing money. Bob Dole was remembered during a funeral service at the Washington National Cathedral. He understood that we're all part of something much bigger than ourselves. And a compromise isn't a dirty word. It's the cornerstone of democracy. Singer and guitarist for the hit group The Monkees, Michael Nesmith, has died. Silent night in Upland, Indiana. Nobody's going to make any noise until the 10th point is scored, and they all dress up in pajamas. A holiday battle in California. It was bear versus decoration reindeer. He took it to the ground for hand-to-hand -hand combat. I think it was pissed. I don't know. I don't know. Coming in on this territory. Even the best Christmas cards don't nail it on the first try, so tonight we'll take a look at some of the early attempts in our segment. First drafts. Here's a card that says the greatest gifts of all are those that money can't buy. Friendship, peace, and love. Merry Christmas. The first draft said the greatest gifts of all are those that money can't buy, which is pretty much anything thanks to ongoing supply chain issues. I would drop kick Rudolph for a PS5. This morning's eye-opener is presented by Progressive, making it easy to bundle insurance. It's not easy making those cards. You have limited words <laughs> to make your point the best way possible. That is true. It takes a while to pick out. Welcome to the weekend, everyone. I'm Jeff Glor, along with Dana Jacobson. Michelle Miller is off, so we are happy to have Jerika Duncan with us here today. Good morning, J.D. This morning, we're going to explore the origin of America's best idea. Our national park system is one of our country's proudest achievements, but protecting lands like this wasn't always a goal. We'll talk with the author of a new book about the man who helped bring about the change, designer Frederick Law Olmsted. Then we're going to take you to an island just off Manhattan that is now home to a striking work of public art. These enormous bronze faces were created to honor a pioneering journalist who changed history right here on these grounds. We'll have her remarkable story. And it's off to Los Angeles to speak with actor, comedian, and author B.J. Novak. Most of us know him from his many years on The Office, but now he has created his own TV show and is even directing his first feature film. Then we go to Chicago to meet up with one of the Windy City's most soulful chefs, Eric Williams Restaurant Virtue. It's pleasing palates with authentic Southern food, but it's also helping young cooks with an interest in fine dining. See how he's pulling off both successfully. And we'll wrap things up in our Times Square studio with a performance from an artist who has co-written songs with John Legend and John Mayer and has even been sampled by Taylor Swift. Cautious Clay will make his network TV debut right here in our Saturday session. That and so much more is all ahead. But we begin here this morning with breaking news overnight, a deadly and tragic outbreak of severe weather in the nation's midsection.